Hey, welcome back. This week sees us reef dodging to find our way to Thalazdu. One thing we've discovered in the absence of sailing directions is that some of these fringing reefs have got man-made cuts into the lagoons. We've been spotting these on Google Earth and we've also been getting feedback from those who have boldly gone before and I have to say once you're inside 360 degree protection it makes it for a very safe anchorage safe that is right up until it's blown old boots when it's hang on to your hat time and having reefs all around doesn't seem like such a smart idea after all and funnily enough, Hotel California was playing in the background there. You can check out, but you can never leave. How true. Not going anywhere in this lot. Anyway, prior to all that unpleasantness, we have found our way through the cut and spent a couple of pleasant nights anchored in the quiet of another lagoon. Underway, we should have the code D up, but I'm too lazy. This is a nice spa resort, Kagi, K-A-G-I. If you've got a few bob to spend, you get a private bungalow on your own private beach, or you can have one on stilts over the reef. You pay your money, you take your choice. We found another cut into the lagoon just north of Thalazdu where we parked for a few days and got a taste of peace, quiet and Lavazza coffee. The builders have reclaimed a kilometre of land to build something like 30 odd houses on stilts. 20 something on land and a little palm fringed harbour. This is the first time in about four weeks when we've been allowed to go and meet the locals. So we're heading ashore to the village to see what goes on. Hopefully ice cream. Stop, hunt out the coffee shop. Pretty quiet, it's Friday prayer time, so everyone's busy. These are Kanamadu nuts, a speciality and unique to the Maldives, and quite tasty, roasted and dried. That's what they look like. Okay, yeah. Stuart, take oh, a look at it. It's very, so very, 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 very
fortified with nuts, coffee and fancy multicoloured drinks, we headed off in the optimistic attempt to see if we could get a Covid vaccine. I guess this is the local politicians or a bad painting of Che Guevara. And can you believe it? Despite having a wall stacked full of vaccines, these were the Chinese vaccines and we were too old for them. So, to cheer ourselves up, we thought we'd get some retail therapy. Desalination plant for the local water supply. And just behind us, turn it into coca-cola we believe the world's only desalinated coke plant and so that was Fellas Do it's goodbye from Ismail and Adieu and some of the other locals we met We'll see you next time.